<laughs> All right, we've got the table set up for testing odor control. We're going to test simulated cat poop using sardines because, well, you eat a fish, you poop a fish, and cats like fish. Then we're going to test odor control for pee in these bowls, which will be using apple cider vinegar. We have one cup of litter that will be tested for each test. We have one fourth cup in each bowl and three fourths cup in each cup that will be dumped on top of our sardines. Here's our simulated cat poop. It smells gross. It smells salty. I'll bury this one. <laughs> You're plugging your nose. Yes, I am. <laughs> It smells gross, really gross. Set a timer for 10 minutes called cat litter test. Second timer, cat litter test for 10 minutes. Starting now. It's been 10 minutes. Yeah, it's been a little longer than 10 minutes, probably 15 minutes. So I'm going to get the apple cider vinegar ready for all of these and in the meantime won't you smell each bowl and see if you can smell fish uh, okay i'm gonna get the apple cider vinegar ready um i couldn't really smell fish i, I, probably... I couldn't smell fish i couldn't which one smells fish the most no fish well, maybe a little tiny bit. This one, only a little bit. <laughs> nothing. Nope. Nothing? That's halfway. Um, a little bit. Halfway. Nothing. Completely. 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 So, halfway, uh, halfway. A little bit. So, all of these ones are halfway, but these ones are complete. Nothing. A little bit. Nothing. Yeah. Bleh. That smells gross. Nothing. It smells like what? Dad, we found out which one smells the grossest. It's this one. The wood pellets has the most? No, this one. Smell the one over there. That one doesn't have any fish. And tell me if it smells the same. Yeah, it's probably the litter that I smell that's gross. Yeah, tell me what you smell. Tell me which one smells the worst. Tell the camera. Does he smell this? This one doesn't smell like anything. Hey, smell this one, Tina. Oh, this one smells nice. I don't have no <laughs> idea what this one smells like, but it's so it smells like a cloud. <laughs> Nuh-uh. 
Nuh uh. You do not want to see that. Hi. You do not want to do this one. It smells horrible. Let's see? Horrible! 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 Literally. Literally! The next test is going to be testing the cat urine using apple cider vinegar. These from the medicine jars are really good for measuring tiny things. So don't throw them away, you should keep them. Yep, and we've got one half cup of litter in the cups and one half cup of litter in the bowls. I wanna pour them in. Just pour it in the middle. Don't dump the litter on top of it. No, I want them all to be done the same, so I'm gonna have the same person do each of them. All right, we're gonna let it sit for a little bit, and we're gonna smell them unburied, and then we're gonna bury them and smell them again. In the no, it's not Bingo. real cat poop. It's just simply a cat poop. Now, everyone knows the time that you smell cat poop the most is while the cat is pooping. And you guys all complained about the fish smell when I was getting out of the can. And when you throw away the cat poop. So I've pulled out the fish out of each of the litters. And you can tell me which one smells the worst like fish. Hmm. I don't really smell much fish on that one. Okay, we'll smell no, it. No, no, that's about this one. This one smells the worst. Huh. No, this no, one smells much. like rotten eggs. Mm, I bet no. <laughs> like this one smells no, like not that much. Rotten eggs. That smells a little bit more. Eggs. Rotten eggs. Yeah, way like more. You can smell this. Not thing. that much. Mm -hmm. I think this one is. Not that much fish. No, I think this one still. Do no, no, they no, all no, smell no, bad? So still smell bad. No, I'm gonna smell this one. It's still this one. It's still this one. They all smell they bad to me. I don't smell that much. Rotten eggs. No, it's this one. It's definitely this one. It's definitely this one. Wait, this one. Wait, is this real fish? Yeah. Not that much. I think there's one, this one, this one, this one, this one. That one, one smells one, the worst? I can't tell. I have no clue. This no, no more jumping, please. Well, guess what, Dad? No more jumping, this please. This one smells like no rotten eggs. Nothing. No. No. Nah. Nah. This one smells no like rotten eggs. What did you do with those? Oh, that was the worst cat food. So this one smells the worst? Yep. Yeah. Which one do you think smells the best? Hmm. Or the least? Which one smells this the least? One. That one smells mm, the least? Let me smell again. I can't tell. This one. This one. They all this smell one. the Lucy. least. Lucy. Throw me. This okay. one. This one, one smells like rotten eggs. Yeah, Are you sure, Rosie? Eggs. Rotten eggs. You can pick it up I if mean, you want. Yeah. No. I mean, not the fish, but the plate. Yeah, I can hardly smell this one at all. I don't smell it at all. Yeah. This one I can smell a lot. This one I can smell the same. This one's worse than these two. Knew it. This one only a little bit. These two smell the same. These three smell the same. I have no clue. They all smell the same. This one smells a little bit more than these three. And I can't smell this one at all. So this one, so this no, one. No, this one's the least. I yes. can't smell this one at all, and this one is the stinkiest. The yep, definitely. Seems is. like you all agree about the blue one being the stinkiest. I but can't I decide. <laughs> there we go. Now you can go and smell them. Let's smell this one first. Not me. Can I have one of these? Huh. Uh, uh, yeah. Huh. 
Yeah. Well, see, this one smells yeah. interesting. It smells yeah. like wood because it's wood pellet. Yeah, so. Oh my god, this I love the orange So obviously, so it can smell like wood. It smells like bread. Yeah. It smells like bread. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it smells like bread. Okay, this we'll is smell not the other one. It smells like it. Hey, Jason, come on. It's made out of corn cob. Jason, so Jason, bread you? isn't too far away. Hey, Rosie. Huh. You can move it. A little bit stinky. Kind of a little bit stinky. You're only allowed to have two a day? I'm making huh. a video. No, two of those. Out of the whole, out of all of them. Hmm. Oh, oh. Okay. okay. Hey, you. Look. That's the zip stain. Twelve. The blue one? Only 12. Okay, smell the rest of them. Only 12 bags in here. Now. There's 12, and there are, let me see, there are four kids. I want one. So 12. I never taste Wait, what everyone can have three. Everyone can what have three. What day is it? What day is it? Milk can have three out of the whole. What day is it? We're not putting it on did the chart. We're not like putting it on the Did it smell like apple vinegar, or did it just smell like... No, no, no. I don't know. Ugh. If it's Sunday, then I'm eating one right now. Huh. So, this one smells like bread. If it's not Sunday, then I really want to know what day it is. This one's I can't really smell anything. A lot of these smell like bread. Hmm. I smell a vinegar taste. Mm -hmm. A vinegar taste? <laughs> smell, not taste. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not as bad as the other one, though. vinegar. <laughs> Not that much of vinegar as this one. I think that one is far from vinegar. I don't even smell that much vinegar. I don't even smell anything. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Hmm. Smelly cut vinegar. This doesn't smell like vinegar. It smells like bread. This is my <laughs> least like bread. favorite part. Because <laughs> it's made out of corn. <laughs> this is my least favorite part of all of the ingredients. I don't know. Smelly, it smells like bread and vinegar in one. In this one. Vinegar and bread in this. This thing. is my least favorite part. No vinegar, just wood. So the fruit is the best. Okay. And the worst. What do you mean fruit right? is the best and the worst? Wait, wait look. That doesn't make any sense. This one smells like. Oh! You can do it. You can put it Let me, let me. So, this one has been. Dark out the vinegar. She is right. I can't smell anything. All I smell is bread. Bread, 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 bread. bread. And this one's like mixed with bread and vinegar. This one mixed with bread and vinegar. But this one just yeah. smells like wood. wood. What is with you and wood. the bread thing? Wood. What is wood. with you and the bread? No, this is bread too. No, this is more bread. It's wood. It just what smells is like wood. What with you and the bread? It just smells Nothing. like bread. This test is for the lazy cats who refuse to bury their pee. There seem to be a correlation between the coarse litters and the fine litters. The coarser the litter, the more it seemed to control the odor. The opposite seemed to be true in the simulated poop test, the fish test. The finer litters covered the fish better than the coarse litters. 30 minutes just isn't long enough for litter to do its job, especially the coarse litters. Schoon, World's Best, and Wood Pellets particularly showed improvement with long-term burial in the cat litter. If monitoring your cat's health is a priority in your litter choice, then Pretty Litter is the only option. Loop Litter is a new contender in this market, but based on my tests, you can really tell no difference unless things change. Showing the price estimates from my absorbency test video, you can see Loop is by far the most expensive of the nine litters. It was also one of the most dusty, so unless things change, Loop is the least recommended of the nine litters in my tests. Allow me to linger here for a moment. I was thinking about redoing the absorbency test of the crystal litters, but I realized in order to do an accurate test, 
It is something that can't be done in a single day. These litters are designed to be stirred and allowed to evaporate over a long period of time. There's so much more involved with doing an accurate test of crystals, so I will not be doing so. so here we are at the conclusion. And I'd like to talk about a few things that haven't been discussed yet, starting with customer service. Customer service really only applies to three of the litters. We have Schoon Litter, Loop Litter, and Pretty Litter. All three of those are subscription-based litters that you get shipped to you every month. In order to cancel, I believe all three of them, you have to contact the companies. Loop is the is really new, and uh, they had some issues with their first product being released. Those issues were not mentioned in detail, but uh, they made a lot of customers really angry, including myself, because I got charged for a second bag before I even got my first bag. Of the three mentioned, Loop is the only one that does not have a phone number. You cannot cancel online. You can add more bags online. You cannot cancel online. You have to contact the company in order to cancel your subscription. And they were not responding to their customers on Facebook, Instagram, personal emails for a very long time. And when they finally responded to me, there was no apology in it really I didn't sense any and so customer service alone has turned me off of loop and you know I was also not the best customer either so I must admit I went on social media and I complained like other people complained I even made a joke in relation to the uh, Avengers Endgame movie that was popular at the time saying you know what had happened did Thanos snap his fingers and it just so happened that most of the loop employees were those included that disappeared I don't know it was insane so uh, also moving on to packaging packaging is also another place that loop kind of failed you get a nice information card from Schoon it has a phone number on it you get a nice information card from Pretty Litter. It has a phone number on it. The packaging for Loop is very simple. I guess that, that doesn't matter too much as far as instructions on what colors to look for for diagnosis of your cat's health. But again, the colors don't work. So unless things change, it's very dusty. It doesn't work. It's difficult to cancel. Uh, so Loop is at the very bottom of my suggestions. It has been axed. A lot of airplanes going by today. A little more on packaging. Litter made and both have a single Ziploc closure, which is quite nice. Wait is important for deciding what litter you want to get because if you are someone who really really does not want to lift heavy litter either bring it into the house in a bag or in the litter box then you'll want to consider anything other than clumping clay litter because it is the heaviest uh, the pretty litter is extremely lightweight litter made also very lightweight you'll be able to lift an entire litter box with like one or two fingers full of this stuff it's it's amazingly lightweight but with lightweight comes a concern of tracking that's something that I haven't tested that's something that I'm just gonna have to test inside the litter boxes in a real-life cat use scenario which is why the pretty litter is empty it's the first one that I'm testing in an actual live litter box situation and it's going pretty good it's very lightweight doesn't seem to be tracking too bad so there is no one litter that's gonna work for all cats the number one factor for choosing a cat litter 
is going to be the cat litter that your cat will use. What is your cat's preference? The next, all the other factors for choosing what kind of litter you want is going to come secondary. Are you choosing for environmental reasons? Are you choosing for weight reasons, dust reasons, fragrance reasons, price, value? Whatever reasons you have all come secondary to what litter does your cat prefer? Third thing, and you can modify this, is what litter works in your litter box or contraption or sifting mechanism. You can always buy a different litter box, but if you have found a litter box that you absolutely love, then you need to find a litter that's going to work in that litter box. And that's something about Schoon, is the larger chunks for Schoon, it's going to be very low tracking. I believe that for sure. Large chunks just, they're not going to stick to cat's paws or anything. But the larger chunks, you cannot use a normal everyday cat shovel to sift that litter. And Schoon, last I looked on their website, they're offering a free large slotted spoon with orders fantastic customer service. Oh, going back to customer service, Schoon contacted me after I made an order to make sure my address was correct because I live in a very remote desert location. That is awesome customer service. They are easy to cancel, very polite. Same with Pretty Litter. When I called to cancel, very short wait, easy to cancel. You know, they did offer um, an optional solution to put my order on sleep for like a month or two. You know, great customer service. These three litters, Litter Made, Corn Cob Litter, Dr. Elsie's Ultra, and Pretty Litter are my three favorite best, three favorite litters. They all did good on all of my tests, the dust, the absorbency, the clumping, and the odor control. Now for dust, litter made was the top, like zero dust. Pretty litter was second placed, just a tiny bit of dust. And if you're someone who really prefers to have a natural dirt clumping litter, this clumps really solid and clumping power whether it's solid or more loose some may actually prefer something that's more loose this didn't seem to stick to the bowls when I tested it like a world's best and Dr. Elsie's that's also going to be determined on your litter box um, materials whether it sticks really bad or not but if you have a really loose clumping litter and you have a litter box that the sifting mechanism will bounce around, mix up the litter vigorously, then it may end up pulverizing these chunks. So depending on what kind of litter box you have, this or any other um, softer clumps may not work very good in your litter box. My litter box invention, the Tilt and Sift litter box, has pretty minimal agitation to the litter. So I think this is gonna work really good. So I'm really excited to try this. This will probably be the, the next litter that I try in a real life scenario. And I'll try and do follow up videos on each of these litters as I test them out in a real life scenario. Absorbency, this was top notch absorbency. Absorbency, now, I mentioned earlier, it's you can't really fully test that easily and quickly with uh, crystal litters. So they're, they're just a whole different animal, as well as schoon litter. Schoon litter is uh, another type of those litters that you use all at once and throw away all at once. Odor control. Odor control is... That was one of my most subjective tests. Uh, litter made did really well. It also did really well because it has a fragrance to it. Now, some people and their cats may be sensitive to fragrances, so that may be the ax for, for this cat litter for some of you who cannot do well with fragrances. So the fragrance also 
adds an additional boost to mask any odors that it did not cover up. And lastly, a challenge to you litter makers, companies who make litter out there. Put volume on the bottom of the bag so that we can compare your litters and your competitors to volume. Volume is so much better for comparing cat litter. And if this video is helpful, educational, enjoyable in any way, please subscribe. It's been a lot of fun, a lot of work to put all these videos and comparisons together. It was definitely a lot of fun and educational for me and my family. And we'll see you next time. Like, subscribe, comment. I've got multiple different topics. Find them in the playlists. Have a righteous day.